Hello and welcome on how to solve this math Olympiad problem in which x minus 3 the whole of this raised to root x minus 3 equals to 3 find the x solution we are being given x minus 3 the whole of this raised to root x minus 3 equals to 3 here since x minus 3 is common let y be equals to x minus 3 now by substitution we have y raised to root y equals to 3 we can further to substitution now here let m be equals to root y so that m squared equals to y so by substitution here into this equation y equals to m squared so next we have m squared the all of this raised to root y which is the same as m so we put m here as an exponent equals to 3 now by the application of the power rule so here we have m raised to 2m because 2 times m equals to 2m equals to 3 now let us take natural logarithms on both sides now we have ln m raised to 2m equals to ln 3 I have taken natural logarithms now by use of the power rule that ln p raised to power n equals to n ln p so by the application of this rule this exponent will come here so we have 2m ln m equals to ln 3 now let us divide both sides of this equation by 2 so by dividing both sides by 2 we have m ln m equals to ln 3 over 2 now let us apply this rule on this m here which is a coefficient of ln m on this m let us apply this rule that e leads to ln a equals to a so by the application of this power of rule then which means that m becomes e leads to ln m equals to equals to m now let us put this one here substitute this one for m so next we have ln m times this m here which is e leads to ln m equals to ln 3 over 2 now here let us apply this rule that y equals to a times e raised to power a by taking lambda w function here so we have w of y equals to w of a times e raised to power a which gives us a so since this one is in this form since the left hand side is in this form let us apply lambda w function on both sides this is the so called lambda w function now by the application of lambda w function we have w of ln m e raised to ln ln m equals to equals to w of this one here we have ln 3 over 2 so we are moved from here to this point we are moved from here up to this point now it implies that from this rule it implies that 
so ln m equals to the right hand side so it implies that ln m equals to w of ln 3 the of this over 2 now let us introduce space e on both sides so next we have e raised to ln m equals to e raised to w of ln 3 over 2 you have not changed anything because what i have done on the left hand side i have done it on the right hand side by use of this rule once again that e ln a equals to a by the application of this rule once again so th this one it means that m m equals to e raised to w of ln 3 over 2 now let us apply this rule that w of a times e raised to w of a equals to a so by dividing both sides of this equation by w of a so if we divide by w of a on both sides then this one goes to itself one times so that now we have e w of a equals to a over w of a so let us use this rule to transform the right hand side so this is a very powerful rule so let us apply this rule here to transform the right hand side therefore m equals to equals to e w of ln 3 over 2 now by use of this rule here this one becomes ln 3 over 2 is the same as a so we write ln 3 over 2 which is like a here over w of a so w of ln 3 over 2 so w of ln 3 over 2 like this so as you can see we have simplified m so m equals to if we simplify this one further we have ln 3 over 2 w of ln 3 over 2 now this is the value of m m squared equals to y m squared equals to y this is what we stated above now which means that to get y we need to square both sides so it means that y equals to the square of this so into brackets ln 3 over 2 w of ln 3 over 2 the of this squared so this is our y for again that y equals to x minus 3 so that x equals to y plus 3 so to find x which we are required to determine we have to add the value of y here so it implies that x equals to into brackets ln 3 over 2 w of ln 3 over 2 the of d squared plus 3 now here from the calculator x is approximately equal to 5.1248 so this is the solution for x that can satisfy this equation here that x minus 3 raised to root x minus 3 
equals to 3. So if you put this value here, you will find that the left hand side equals to the right hand side. And that is it. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell to get me updates when I upload new videos. Don't forget to smash the like button, share and comment below to make this video reach many people.